Start streaming. Let's go. Okay, we are now live. Welcome everybody. Today we are debating should we become a cashless society. Uh, very quickly to go over the rules, um, please wait your turn to speak. If you want to speak, raise your hand using the Zoom function for it. There is no interrupting, no shouting. This is more of a discussion in a way than a real debate. We're just having a bit of fun practicing English in a bit of a different way. Um, and that's about it. All I would say is try to stay on point. Uh, only make a new argument if the argument has been exhausted. I don't want this to be just waiting your turn to talk and then start speaking. Um, yeah, really listen to the people before you and then uh, continue the conversation. All right, so should we become a cashless society? Dimitri is ready to start us off. Yes, Dimitri. Okay, thank you. Uh, hey, hey, everyone. I, I believe uh, the problem or uh, the uh, the topic of uh, the problem of the cashless society is a part of a bigger uh, topic, which is uh, digitalization of uh, every a service and commodity which is currently produced. Uh, now, now for, for, to give an example. Um, I, I recently I have read a, a discussion on the internet on is it a good idea to uh, make a collection of uh, Blu-rays today in 2022, for instance. And uh, the argument for was is that uh, it might, it might, why it might seem con very convenient uh, to have a, a digital, uh, digital uh, subscription on a platform such as Netflix and have, have an instant access to millions uh, of TV series and movies, but uh, the, uh, the owner of the platform can remove all your favorite movies or TV series without your consent at every moment, moment in time, meaning that you don't, uh, you, you think you own own your favorite film, but you don't own it un unless you have a, a physical copy of it. So that's that's one point. So, so uh, po point number one: if you if you if you don't have any physical copy of any physical of any digital product or service, it, it can be taken away uh, from you at any at any at any time. So maybe start with one point, Dimitri. How about that? We start with one point. I see you have a lot of points ready. No, I no, think... no, no. I, 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 I wanted to 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 add to uh, to okay. it a little bit. It, okay. it was a pre. It was a preface. Oh, okay, <laughs> sure. a preface. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, yeah. I I believe that uh, that uh, becoming a cashless society, digitalization of money, uh, uh, making money, uh, making money. Um, uh, transferring money into digital form and transforming all payments into digital form maybe start maybe a, a one one step further to to quite a grim dystopian future society which, which i could describe as a digital concentration camp because uh, i would like to give give a, a couple of examples again uh, I, I i've been thinking before before this debate i, I have remembered uh, two movies that that i have that i've watched uh, some uh, in the past the first one is quite quite an old one but i believe it's very relevant it's it is 1995 uh, 1995 uh, action thriller uh, movie star, uh, called dinette starring sandra bellock its main its main character a data analyst uh, angela bennett uh, I, I won't give you all the plot details because it's relevant and I don't give you any spoilers too because I believe sure. the, the, the movie is worth watching but in, in and of itself. Uh, so um, she, be, she became, she, her, her digital identity becomes stolen. Uh, her, all her IDs become, uh, become replaced for that of a criminal, a wanted criminal. Uh, so she, she, she suddenly becomes an outcast. And an outlaw in society. All her bank bank cards are uh, no longer available, so she gets uh, she and uh, her home doesn't belong to her anymore. So uh, she becomes homeless. She becomes <laughs> she becomes moneyless. She 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 possesses nothing. The other example is uh, the fourth installment in Die Hard franchise with a uh, main character um, and and. Uh, New York, New York Police Department, uh, New York Police Department, po uh, Police Department officer John McClane being uh, portrayed by Bruce Willis. In that, in that movie, he's been, his uh, retirement, retirement money, are stolen away by the terrorists. 
So he, so suddenly he, he doesn't have his pension money anymore, like at all. And uh, that and that's one point. But it also the, the, it also can be used by our by the government to uh, to crush any political opposition or any dissenters in no time at all, like strip you all of all of your money and all of your possession to make to make you more uh, docile, so to speak. That's probably it back to you, Boris. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Dmitry. You. <laughs> so, catch society comes with its own risks, uh, is what you are saying. Um, risk of having your money stolen and the risk of not having a physical object then uh, it's uh, I don't know it, it comes with its own risks right yeah and, okay. be, and, and 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 you are also in control by your government you have less mm. freedom okay less freedom controlled by the government controlled by greater entities interesting anyone else yes um, so the risks of a cash society maybe some benefits Yes, Irsiad, I saw you raising the hand. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, Dimitri said that uh, digital money can be stolen. As well. I think also uh, the the physical money or not digital money can be also stolen and uh, and even can be, you know, it by termites. I think if you uh, you know you save the physical money for a long time in a not uh, hum in a humid uh, room, for example. And okay. uh, in the in the in the term of uh, owning something physical, you can also buy that using digital transaction. Yeah, for example, you you go to the movie store, you buy the DVD, the physical Blu-ray. You can uh, you, you can buy that and doing uh, the digital transaction or, the, or cashless transaction as well. Okay, yeah. so here's yeah, the ad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So you're saying there's that's ways to counter these risks, and maybe these risks are not less uh, with real physical money, but real physical money just has different risks. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Um, yes, oh, we lost Mete. I'm sure he'll be back. Um, yes, Sophia, maybe. What do you think? Cashless yeah. society, yay or nay? Nay, I totally support Dmitry. And uh, well, I believe that it really might look like a dystopia, but let me add some uh, points of uh, today's reality. Uh, I'm not uh, much of an economist, but I believe that uh, when the money is cashless, it means that uh, it will be harder to control the emission. So uh, even today, uh, the money that we have, they are not connected, like they are not tied to the gold standard as it was before. So it already looks like, you know, just uh, paper. But uh, let's imagine that there is no paper at all, no coins. So who would control? Who emits and in which amounts? Like it would be so easy to cheat on that. I, I remember I used to play uh, the game of Sims probably somebody else did and there were these cheat bots so and <laughs> i believe everybody tried so and yeah. oh you have one million <laughs> of sim dollars so mm. i believe it will be so in such kind of economy without physical money okay so again back to the risks oh Mete is back welcome back back to the risks of a digital uh, world with no physical money the um uh, Who's going to control the emission of this digital money? Wouldn't people, government, I assume you're talking here, be able to just add a zero or two and that would create its own world of problems? Okay, thank you very much, Sophia. Um, yes, Korobash. I think that um, I'm, I, I'm agree with Safi. I think I'm totally not non degree. I think that uh, it is a lot of algorithms that can help with this situation. You know, to to not uh, uh, allow to you know just uh, uh, created more money for nothing. Uh, for it is a lot of uh, algorithms. The, the most uh, popular it is uh, the uh, algorithms that everybody use in their emails that um, you know when you just uh, encrypted uh, mail that you sent for another person and the same algorithm you can uh, use for crypting uh, amount of uh, uh, coins and so it is not uh, possible to you know to edit uh, one zero to your amount it is uh, you know, it is like a uh, mathematical uh, impossible so it, 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 there is a lot of solutions for this problem 
Mm. I, I think you're talking about uh, a mistake. I think Sophia was implying more easing corruption. <laughs> it's like if all you have to do is add a zero, then maybe it's easier to, to have this corruption or people stealing money or government playing around with currency in different ways. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Korbash. Uh, yes, Irsiad, we'll come back to you, Korbash, of course. Uh, Irsiad, yes. Okay. Yes, um, I think, uh, you know, uh, in a you know, in a company or organization, there is some audit uh, every year. So if there is a fraud by adding some, you know, cheating on amount of money, they will be catch uh, and, uh, in the end of the audit process. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's uh, and, and we can do that. Um, and also uh, there is a, a another technology uh, for, you know, uh, count, countering this kind of activity like using blockchain. So there is a, you know, uh, decentralized uh, ledger. So every ledger need or every node need to uh, communicate to each other to make sure that the transaction is valid. And there is another uh, way to make the transaction valid. Um, mm. that's all. Okay, interesting. So you're saying there's ways to counter this uh, cheating, um, this adding extra money out of thin air. Um, interesting. Let's try maybe to focus more on the society aspect of the question. How would a cash, how would uh, a society with no cash uh, look and feel? What would it be like to live in a society with no cash? As opposed to just the cash itself, but what about day-to-day -day life? What would that do to, to life? Maybe Mete? Okay, the difficult questions <laughs> for <laughs> it is a very difficult question, but first yeah, I can say that the man the man can create the money. The money cannot create the man. This is very important in my opinion, but there is a monetization problem in this world in global globalism period. For this reason, monetization, what does it mean? The monetization means that everything should be based on only money, friendship, partnership, neighborship, and everything, everything should be based on only money. And this is a very dangerous situation because the money is a symbol, not a real one. The symbol, the symbol cannot change the man. The man can, the symbol, can change the symbol. The monetization, if there is a monetization situation in this world, then we cannot easily change the monetary order. The monetary order, what? Yes, the cash is a symbol of real labor, at the same time, digital cryptocurrency is a symbol of labor. But there is a difference in my opinion because the rate of the changing is important in, in human life and in society. And we, we should firstly ask who do want, who do who wants to change this monetary order in this vault? Who? Because Michel so, Foucault sorry, says that sorry, Mete, sorry, Mete, I'm going to cut in. I just want to be clear on the terminology here. We're not talking about a society with no money. We're not talking about switching to cryptocurrency. We're talking about not using paper money. So we would have, for example, credit cards would still work. That is cashless. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Yes, there is, there is a relation between cashless society and digital society, in my opinion, because Firstly, we can think that it makes easy the life. It makes life easy. This is a for reason. But another reason, what what the rate of what is the rate of change? What is the rate? What cost? What cost of the rate of the change for society? We we ask we should ask this. In my opinion, for this reason. In my opinion, 
cashless in cashless society my my basic idea is that in cashless society the money can be defined only with exchange value in my opinion but the money the money can be defined with the value of using firstly secondly the value of exchange thirdly the value of measure and fourthly the value of storage but in cashless society in for instance in credit cards society it means that only the value of exchange and value of exchange in my opinion is based on not real mutual relation and this is a dangerous for the future of society because everyone everyone can think that the money only measure of the life i can say that uh, suddenly right. and no worries okay thank you so much mete i'm going to be honest i'm not 100% sure uh, exactly what you meant but i think it's about how real money is a symbol of real work real life real values and if you take this away you're taking away kind of an anchor something that people feel is a real consequence of their labor something they can touch count store exchange buy things with and uh, you think this is very important to tying society together is that what it is okay Cool. Thanks so much. Uh, Dimitri, we'll come back to you. But first, I want to hear from Kyoko and Artyom. Um, Kyoko, yes. Okay. So uh, I, I, I've never thought about that. I've never thought about deeply about the cash stress and, uh, uh, and using physical money. But uh, I'm, I'm just currently uh, worried about the people who can access to um, cashless society and who cannot because uh, yeah mm, for example if you don't have id you can't access uh, digital currency that means uh, and you can't open bank account so uh, those people automatically can't access to um, currency or digital currency or whatever they the only choice they have is just to use physical money. So I don't think they shouldn't be left. They should be uh, included the society. So I, I, I'm, I'm really for cashless society, but there should be some uh, other ways for those vulnerable people. So I think we should have cashless uh, payment and all choice. Uh, we should have a both choice. Mm. for cashless and also uh, availability of using physical money. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's one thing that surprised me a lot in Japan, actually, that there is so much cash, coins, yeah. coinage, yes. a lot of vending machines, too. A lot of that is very interesting, especially when compared to China, where it's basically becoming a cashless society. I wish we had some yeah. here with us, actually, because it's very interesting. Uh, China, in, in China, you, you can go a whole day without using any cash. It's very, it's very common now. I, anyway, I digress. Let's focus, Boris. Uh, Archim, cashless society. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay. You know, uh, I uh, how how uh, I see that problem. Uh, like usual, there are uh, lots of advantages and there, there are lots of uh, backwards. Uh, with that question, for instance, I agree with uh, Dmitry, and uh, I also consider, um, or maybe uh, about about a violation of, uh, pri of, of of privacy. I think it's it's a main question. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, I I see that advantages, and uh, uh, we have talked with Irsiat even that even before. Uh, pandemic of COVID-19, I saw some social ads about uh, cashless uh, transactions, and it was even before pandemic, and uh, the main idea in that ads was uh, about that uh, uh, using of uh, cashless, uh, uh, cashless technologies, uh, 
prevent uh, lots of diseases and viruses uh, and all that things you know it's like uh, of course it's an advantage but uh, yeah and the main idea that if i uh, i how i understand uh, the topic that uh, of course there is a, a lot of, there is a big discussion about uh, that uh, cashless or cash society but now if i uh, understand right it, it's uh, right now it's uh, not so easy to, to switch totally uh, to cashless society because there are uh, millions of people who even don't have bank accounts and uh, yeah and uh, another uh, another backward big backward uh, what I see uh, here it's uh, that uh, cashless uh, technologies, dependent uh, a lot of from electricity from okay from other technologies so if to think about uh, uh, that uh, one day uh, if something happened yeah uh, everything all economics uh, just uh, just would stop yeah that's how that's a big problem and uh, i don't know how to uh, and i think it's a big issue because it's it's possible uh, we are humans not so powerful against uh, nature <laughs> still <laughs> interesting yeah very interesting point i mean yeah i think yeah so if it's cash big, society a... is vulnerable to disaster and of you course know, when uh, you lose power you lose your ability to buy anything which is arguably one of the most important time to be able to buy things <laughs> interesting very good point Thank you very much, Artyom. I think we've gone around. Yes, Dimitri. Okay, I want I wanted to give a follow up on the, what, uh, what Sophia and uh, Meta said first. Uh, first, let's start with with Sophia. Uh, it, it's already too late. Uh, what well, well, what what Sophia uh, has. Um, what the fear is fear and would happen is it's already happened in a country such as uh, United States and uh, Great Britain. Uh, I, I, I would uh, I would suggest that uh, that she and everything who is interested in the topic would uh, see some videos more more, more uh, small and in the digestible size videos or even articles of uh, American economist Stephanie Kelton, uh, who is a proponent of so, such a thing as a MMT, which is a modern monetary theory. Uh, so mm -hmm. what, what she's what she is uh, what she says in general that uh, there is no such a thing as money printing in today's society. Money are literally being printed by the keystroke on the on the computer keyboard. So it's it has already happened. Too late to do something about it. <laughs> That, that that's one point and um, uh, another point uh, that Matt, uh, Matt has uh, mentioned which went unnoticed unfortunately I, I, is that he he what he was referring to a thing which is called a commodification commodification on everything in today's society which means of human relationships of a human value we only value uh, to to an extent of uh, what profit we can produce from from our employer nobody gives uh, nobody cares nobody cares about us as human beings and i i, th I think it's very disturbing it's 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 very it's very disturbing so so it, mu something must be done something must be done about it i for instance don't want to be just a tool for producing money for some profit profiteer and jerk i want to be human and i live a nor to live a normal human life fulfilling and uh, doing something valuable and sorry and cash is is uh, important for that um no <laughs> to to me to me it was a just uh, some sign point but which i believe is also important <laughs> Okay. Cash, uh, cash, cash in the form of money is is what prevents for it. Uh, cash as a manifestation of a commodification of everything in today's society, including us as human beings, because we no longer value uh, in and our in and of ourselves. We only value with regard to profit we can produce. That sounds That's sounds very sad. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. All right. Well, uh, anyone, anyone else? Yes. Who has Irsiad? Please take it from here. 
Yeah, I want to, uh, you know, uh, to uh, give some uh, response uh, of Kyoko's uh, opinion that she said that uh, people that cannot have, uh, don't have access to digital device, for example, or digital uh, wallet, uh, since they have no ID, right? So mm -hmm. I think uh, every citizen in, in every country in this world needs to be, you know, own or have the ID. So that's the proof of your citizenship, I think. So uh, if uh, if the digital wallet, uh, as Artem mentioned, if I'm not mistaken, that people need to open their bank account, I think there are so many services right now that uh, not required to uh, have a bank account. For example, in United States, United States, there is a Venmo. I think in 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 China, there is Alipay. Yeah, some mm -hmm. uh, similar service in other country. I think. But you do need a, bank yeah. accounts, Alipay. I know for sure to put money on or to actually use it effectively, right? Uh, yeah, but I think uh, there is a you know some you? way mm -hmm. to to deposit money or to top up the balance by uh, by using the service from the convenience store. I think there is mm -hmm. a some way like that because you definitely country, need id though you definitely need id that's for sure <laughs> yeah so i mean yeah we need uh, to have id of course but uh, we don't uh, have to be uh, the owner of bank account uh, so mm -hmm. yeah I, I also want to uh, resolve the issue that kyoko's uh, said and also mm. artem so yeah, basically kyoko is saying that she likes the idea but she thinks we are not ready because a lot of people don't mm. even have ID yet. So how could they transition to a cashless society? What would happen to these people? That was her concern. And you echo this concern, right? You also think everyone should have ID. This should be a, of course. a, basic, uh, a basic thing to have. ID or yeah. no ID. Tune in next week. No, I'm kidding. Next week is something else. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think we can stop here for today. Thank you so much, guys. It's been it's been very fun as always. Um, I'm gonna end the stream here. And uh, those of you watching, see you all in the speaking club. Okay, probably should have my uh, button ready. Right. Yeah. Okay.